Welcome back, everyone. If you've seen the Princess Margaret show home, you know just how spectacular it is. And Brian has been designing it for 11 years. Now, I have yet to win one, but lots of lucky folks have. Today, we get an inside look from the designer himself. The design of the house on the outside is Tudor inspired. It's sort of an updated Tudor. So it's got arches and stone and brick and beautiful bay windows. Now when it comes to the inside, you see those bay windows and this is probably the most dramatic in the whole house. It's almost 20 feet high and the mullions are black so it really pops, it looks like iron, with the drapes all the way up. Now when you're looking up, don't forget that ceiling. So we paneled the ceiling in oak and it has strong beams and it's stained a dark version of the floor. And not only is it decorative, it helps with acoustics. Now because I wanted this space to feel like a courtyard and we have lots of plants, we use an outdoor table in this zinc and vintage chairs. Also the floor, which looks like limestone, similar to the limestone outside in this random square pattern, which means lots of squares in different sizes, is actually porcelain. And that's really important because we're off the front door, so it's really practical. Now in the living room, typically in a living room where there's a fireplace, we see a sofa on either side of the fireplace, but that cuts off most of the room. So we have two seating areas, this one and that one. And instead of having a sofa break up the room, I use these two chairs because they open up the space, they provide the seating, and you can turn them around. Now the fireplace is not only the focal point of this room, you see it all the way across the house. And I chose this dramatic wallpaper just for the chimney breast. It's almost art itself. And because of that, I didn't even put anything over it. And then we have sconces to really add some light to the space. We paneled the room and painted it this soft green with green drapes and we have a bit of wallpaper at the top. Now with this seating area, great seating area, you see the fireplace, you see the garden, and it has two entranceways. Now normally, we would have probably had this as a library, but I changed it into this dramatic, entertaining space. So we did a monochromatic scheme. So the walls, the trim, the drapes, the sofa, the chairs, all in this beautiful dark green. And we did drink tables and swivel chairs. This is a space where guests are really gonna wanna hang out. Over here, I have an island, and I did the island in Caesar stone because I wanted something really practical. When you take wine out of these three wine coolers and put it on the table, it won't stain. And then at night, there's nothing like candles or lamps, and we wired these right through into the island. So at night, this is such a dramatic and crazy space. my name written all over 